Now, there's the shelter. I was off that direction. It's Sunday, July 12th, or July 12th, July 1st at 6.10. Not for early start this morning. I was awake and since I'm doing a over 20 mile day today and it's going to be hot, I'm going to get a decent start. I would like to start a little earlier, but it just doesn't work for me. By the time I get everything up and going, have breakfast and all, it just adds up the time. It takes me at least an hour, sometimes an hour and a half to get going. One of my gators is screwing up this morning. I can't get it to adjust. Tighten down, I don't know what's going on. So, another piece of equipment is breaking down on me. This uh, seems to be happening. There's none of this stuff is made to last this kind of abuse, constant use. And of course, most of it is a light duty, that kind of stuff. So it would make sense that uh, it wouldn't last as long. Kind of makes you wonder about whether or not the lightweight and ultralight is really worth it. If, uh, if you got to replace everything so often, like my ever new bottles. So now I'm just using a one liter smart bottle for that. And, uh, I'll send the other one home. I trashed the first one, but I'm going to keep this one in case I need to send it to them. It looks like when I get done with all this, I'm going to be shipping a lot of gear back to the manufacturers. It's not holding up. Not happy with it. But anyway, I got uh, basically a thousand miles to go. So, I should be out of Pennsylvania in a couple more days, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe three at the most, four max. It's going to depend on what kind of time I can make over the uh, rocks that everybody talks about. i will give you a quick shot of this. You can see that tree in the distance. You can see it's got a white blaze on it. This is the trail. This is why I call it the Trail of Rocks. This has been the way it is throughout most of the hike from the very start is like this. As you go, you might get some better, but basically for being a scenic view trail, this is what you get to see because you have to watch constantly over where you're stepping every step of the way. This slows you down. This is where it takes so much time to get anywhere and it totally wears you out and very dangerous. As you can see, the rocks are literally, you're walking on edges and trying to pick your way around. Well, here's the first view of the day after I just went up and over a little speed bump. Took about an hour and a half from camp now. Well, I saw this short little detour out, so I thought I'd run over to it. It was just a few feet off the trail. Nice little overlook. Hazy day out today. While I was there, or here, I happened to notice this. And according to gut hooks, I am exactly at 1,200 miles. So, there we go.
There's a little history for you folks. 1755, side of Fort something, Dietrich. Cider, a lookout post for one of the approach to the enemies of the French and Indian War. Historical Society, da 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 da. Oh, and then it was relocated. That's interesting. So he's right underneath the, about six inches behind the edge of that log. And his head is back up under there. His body is still hanging out, but he's partially coiled under there. Anyway, that just scared the daylights out of me as I'm bebopping down this trail at a fairly good clip. And uh, I literally took a step right beside him before I saw it and uh, so I guess I should be happy that he was a very patient guy and allowed me to backtrack and then he moved off a little bit and I went around through the brush off on the opposite side hope I didn't pick up any ticks doing that uh, I have to say, when you come across them that close, they uh, literally do scare the crap out of you. And now it's got me watching the trail even closer than I was. Because they, uh, they blend in really good. If it hadn't been for the fact that I spotted a pattern on his back, I wouldn't even have realized it was a snake. It would just look like another dead branch laying here. So, anyway, that uh, livened up my day. People need to start thinking twice about trail runners on these goddamn trails. I have been stabbed in the foot more times because these sticks go right through my shoes. This is one I just picked up just now. Now, 345, welcome to Clint, Fort Clinton. And this uh, river we're crossing, I just came down out of those mountains across the tracks and now I wander into town whew it's hot out of water could really use a cold drink hope we got a mini mart hanging around up here someplace so here I am at Fort Clinton Town Pavilion, that's what you see across the street, and then here in the park is where I'm set up. And got my hammock hit, hidden behind the trees here. Used the river back behind to uh, rinse out my clothes and even uh, rinse myself. Felt really good getting uh, cleaned up. And spend the night here, then go in the morning, I'll uh, catch a ride into town and get resupplied in the morning. Oh, you too, huh? And then decide what I'm doing the rest of the day from there. Okay, wrap up for July 1st at Camp Clinton pavilion parking uh, camping area um, just finished up dinner been here for quite a while I got here like 345 so I got here early 
The day hiking itself wasn't too bad. It went pretty good outside of the uh, lack of water, that kind of thing. And that got a little tight this afternoon, but it wasn't real bad. And then we, uh, let's see, I got down, started at 6 this morning, so that's not too bad for 24 hour day, uh, 24 miles. Got uh, a couple of strange people hanging out in the park here that are camping. I'm not sure what's going on with all of them. But anyway, whatever. Just finished dinner. Going to uh, wrap things up and get to bed early. I'm going into town tomorrow to get uh, supplies and probably a new pair of boots. I'm going back to trail boots. I'm going to try those on the AT since I'm not having a lot of good luck on the uh, with trail runners. So anyway, uh, other than the rattlesnake and the lack of water and an exceptionally hot and humid day, everything was pretty good.